This is going to be very entertaining. <laughs> How's it going my dudes and dudettes, welcome back. My name is Dude Meeps and today we're gonna be showing off some new FunCon or SDCC exclusive Funko Pops that have been spotted, some other new unreleased Funko Pops moving around, and a bunch of new Funko Pop leaks. So let's get into it. Wow, okay, so we have a lot of new Funko news and including FunCon exclusive leaked images of these new Pops. And the, most of the ones I'm gonna show you are shared with Hot Topic, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I'm seeing on these listings right now. But let's start off with My Hero Academia's Gang Orca. This is a really cool looking Pop. A lot a lot of people are looking forward to this one but some people are kind of thrown off by it. I, I saw a lot of people in the comments saying that, oh, it, it looks okay, but I'll still get it, or the design's a little wonky, I'm not sure how I feel about it. And I think the biggest issue some people were pointing out is that his eyes are kind of too big. If you guys know him in the anime, he actually has some very tiny pupils and then these white rings around his eyes. They actually get the white rings in there, which is a, a neat detail that they put into it. But his eyes are definitely too big on the Funko Pop, but that is a Funko Pop that's a whole, you know, kind of style behind a Funko Pop is those giant black eyes and then he has these so it doesn't look horrible and some people said that he should have had his vest on instead of just the white suit because I, I think he barely even wore the full white suit I could be mistaken I haven't watched my hair in a long time but um, I, I think it's still a cool design. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about this one. And trust me, we got a bunch more after this too. Onto the next one, we have the Drummer McNugget from McDonald's Ad Icon line. This is insanely creepy. Uh, I'm not a real big fan of some of these McNugget looking ones. They just don't good, go good together with a, a McNugget and a Funko Pop. Not a good combo, doesn't look right. It looks like it's a messed up cousin of Mr. Potato Head and it's gonna jump out of its box and beat you in the middle of the night. I don't know, it's creepy looking, but People like these, so if you do like it, let me know in the comments if you guys are going to want to pick this one up. I guess it is cool that they're kind of branching off and doing some unpopular lines, not as popular lines, and even making them convention exclusives. Now for DC fans, I think you guys are really going to like this one. This is the White Lantern Sinestro. Should be shared with Hot Topic as well, and I really love the design on it. It looks really cool. I kind of wish they made him glow in the dark. It would make sense. Just It would be an awesome glow, to be honest. Nonetheless, though, we do have a translucent kind of look on his... I assume that's a sword in his hand that they made and then some of the energy ore around his other fist as well. I think it's a really nicely designed Funko Pop and there's going to be some other DC ones as well that we do not have images of as of yet, but there's actually going to be a lot of other ones in there too. So let me know for you DC fans if you're going to be excited and if you want to really pick this one up. Like I said, that's not the end of it. We do have a new The Suicide Squad Funko Pop including TDK. And this is actually, I assume, a pretty funny Funko Pop because he's holding his other arm. Uh, you guys can see that his... Uh, left arm or no his right arm is actually not there it's in his other hand so I'm sure for you Suicide Squad fans you guys will probably find that pretty hilarious that they did a nice detail in that or whatever scene it's from that is cool and I'm surprised Funko's already making a convention exclusive for it and I do have some other stuff to talk about including new convention stuff and other pops that haven't been released yet for their line yada 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 up next we do have something a bit new and some Funko fans aren't really familiar with it including myself but I think it's a still a pretty cute line if I want to say so but this is Tokidoki, and we do have the Sobo-chan Funko Pop, and it's not actually going to be the only Tokidoki one. I think Funko's really trying to push this line. I'm not entirely sure why, but I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's ugly. I just don't think a lot of people are aware or going to get familiar with it in the future. Who knows, but let me know if anyone is a fan of Tokidoki. This is actually a pretty neat looking pop. I do like some of the designs they come out with, and we're going to be having a few convention exclusive ones for FunCon, so we'll see that uh, later on. All right, now for you Samurai Jack fans, this is a really cool looking Funko Pop. I don't even really watch Samurai Jack, but I think I might want to pick this one up. We have a new Demongo Funko Pop. Such a cool looking pop. I wish they made the blue, like a glow-in-the-dark look to it. Nonetheless, it is still really cool, and I do want to say one thing. For Hot Topic, I don't think this is going to be shared with it. Actually, you know what? I lie. I think it will be shared with it, but we do not see it specified on the order listing that it will be. Every single pop I've shown you so far should be shared with Hot Topic. However, this one was not included in the list. So things can change. I'm not entirely sure what could happen, but just keep that in mind if it doesn't become a shared exclusive for Hot Topic. And speaking on the shared retailers for these FunCon exclusives, I do have a list I want to tell you guys about, about all the FunCon shared retailers, where they're going to be for what Funko Pops, where they're going to go to what store, including the booth exclusive ones and the Funko Shop shared ones as well. We'll talk about that later on, but I do want to mention some other pops I've been seeing going around. A lot of people are interested in some restocks as well. We did see the Metallic Aang Funko Pop, the Hollywood exclusive that showed up 
up on a Malaysian site, a Funko retailer site. Um, it only had the special edition sticker, but still really cool looking. And if you guys remember the Funko Shop exclusive Aang, the Crouching Aang, it's the exact same Funko Pop, except this one is metallic now. So if you guys are interested in picking that one up, I don't really recommend pre-ordering overseas for any Funko Pop just because it will show up in the US. It is kind of weird that they made it an overseas variant as well. I don't know why they're doing that if it's a Hollywood exclusive. I, I know it's supposed to help overseas collectors who can't travel to the US, but I can't travel to Hollywood as easily either. Point of the matter is we did see it pop up on the Malaysian site, so let me know how you guys think about it. Now onto this next pop. Take this with a grain of salt. This is not entirely confirmed. I don't want to tell you guys this is real or fake or whatever. I'm not going to confirm anything, but we Look, it looks like we do have a black light robin funko pop potentially a hot topic exclusive in the future and this is thanks to pop freak on instagram for back in the day he did share a info leak about it happening a actual black light robin coming out and apparently we have an image of it now we can't confirm whether or not this is entirely real or a custom this could be a custom and it looks like a pretty good custom some people don't like the design however because of just the arm standing at the side kind of looks like a lazy mold that funko would have made which isn't surprising surprising because that happens a lot. Point of the matter is, what do you guys think? Do you think it's a real one? Do you think it's fake? Maybe just keep your eyes and ears open for anything that could happen at Hot Topic for a Blacklight Robin Funko Pop. Restocks, restocks, restocks. We have a couple restocks to mention, not many, but let's start off with one that really freaked people out. It was kind of like a night terror that just flashed and went away. It was the Aaron Yeager Titan Form, a Hot Topic exclusive. It happened like that. And what I mean like that is that these Funko news pages that I tell you guys to go follow for restock alerts and updates about new pops or anything that comes back into stock, a couple pages posted an image of the Aaron Yeager Titan form restocking on the Hot Topic website and deleted it within seconds. They deleted their post. I noticed it because if you keep your post notifications on on Instagram, it helps out a lot better than just checking their page continuously over and over. Point of the matter is they deleted it. I went on there, I checked, and it actually did go up for a back order listing, but I couldn't add it to my cart. So it was a little freaky on whether or not this was an actual restock or a back order restock. And back order just means until they have stock of it, they'll put out pre-orders. If they do get in more stock or they'll cancel it. Point of the matter though, let me know if you guys were able to cash in on that restock if it did happen for you or if you saw that happen if it was kind of weird. But there was a restock that did happen and that was the Lust one from Full Metal Alchemist. That has been getting restocked a few times lately in the past couple days and it recently, probably about 10 minutes ago, just got restocked again on Hot Topic. So for you Full Metal Alchemist fans, go ahead and check that out because they did restock that Lust pop on there. Oh my golly goodness, we have some Funko Pop leaks to go over and a lot of for you anime fans, you guys are gonna like these because these are stuff that me by surprise a little bit because I didn't hear a lot going on but we do have some new Demon Slayer in One Piece and even My Hero Academia Funko Pop leaks. So I heard about a few of these going around and I had to get a little bit more confirmation to until I could share it to you guys. So let's start off with the One Piece Funko Pops we could be seeing in the future and I'll talk about the dates and what this kind of means. We could be seeing a new Odin Funko Pop, a Kaido Deluxe Edition Funko Pop that could be a six inch, a Goldie Roger one. A lot of people are super excited to see a Goldie Roger Funko Pop and a Eustace Kid and Funko Pop Chase variant included. I think I said that Eustace right. You guys, you One Piece fans are probably going to massacre me in the comments, but that's okay. I'm sure One Piece fans are really excited to see different characters getting Funko Pops opposed to the same old characters in the original waves. So let me know for you One Piece fans if you're excited for that. In terms of timelines though and when this is going to be released, it's kind of foggy. We do know the um, months it could come out, but we do not exactly know the year. And what I mean by that is that it's showing August through October of whatever year it could happen. In my opinion, it could probably most likely happen in 2022 but it wouldn't surprise me if Funko wants to push these out later on and just you know put them out in more one piece Funko Pops which I'm sure fans are going to eat up and they'll be happy to do that so let me know your guys' opinions on that of course I'll update you if we do find out any other information it is a little foggy on the year though so we could see it this year just keep that in mind but it's kind of unknown for the time being and I'm sure someone's going to ask it so I'll just say it right now someone is going to ask about Zoro's Funko Pop is it delayed is it canceled is it just never going to happen again I assure you it will happen again. I can't completely confirm it because, you know, no one can, but I, I really do believe it's going to happen. And we do have a little update on it. There have been some retailers saying that 
um, it's going to be canceled. It's not going to happen like Chalice Collectibles. I don't know why they would say that. I don't know the reason they have to say that being that their orders were canceled. However, on Pop Culture, which or Pop Culture is a Australian retailer for Funko Pops. They were showing that they had that Zorro Pop being projected for February of 2022. That is some encouraging info to hear that we're at least going to see it sometime in the future. Maybe not as soon as we'd want it to be. However, there have been other retailers I've heard overseas showing it could be an exclusive to some store in the future, unknown of what dates that could actually happen. Some people were betting on or arguing about, if, is it going to be a FunCon exclusive? It's going to be some convention exclusive very soon. We haven't really seen anything to confirm that. However, it is difficult for overseas retailers to get licensing to distribute any anime Funko Pop, so they might not show it on the retail listing, so we may not know officially if that could happen. Also, we do have new Demon Slayer Funko Pop leaks that we could be seeing fairly fairly soon possibly but I'm not going to confirm anything so let's start off with Zenitsu with lightning that is going to be an exclusive somewhere and we don't entirely know where because it doesn't specify these are overseas retailers showing this and I, I don't know what retailers so don't ask me and say what website did it say blah 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 trust me if I knew I would tell you guys point of the matter is this actually had a code name next to it and the code name just kind of designates it to where it's going to belong to or what event or exclusive it said Barcelona and Barcelona actually was associated with a fun con type event the SDCC and so people are guessing could this Zenitsu with lightning be a fun con exclusive that we don't know about yet I'm not entirely sure because like I told you guys the pre-order listings that we're mostly seeing for these um, fun con exclusives that are coming out that the names that we've been dropping and leaking out they are occurring overseas and they don't normally get a lot of licensing for a lot of anime Funko Pops and it just depends on the anime itself so t sometimes we just might not see if there's gonna be certain ones out there and that's also including the Naruto ones too and I'll talk about that a little bit later on so just keep that in mind Zenitsu with lightning could be coming out um, sometime in August or he could be part of FunCon because FunCon is in August technically also moving on we're gonna be seeing Enmu is kind of a villain or a demon from Demon Slayer itself and we're also gonna be seeing Akaza and if you know who Akaza is another demon I can say um, I have just say watch all of Demon Slayer everything out there that has to do with Demon Slayer and you'll know who that is I'm not trying to point out any spoilers he could be getting his very own Funko Pop coming August as well and then run Goku glow in the dark exclusive that one we kind of talked about a little while ago and we're getting some rumor about it regarding if it's going to be a FunCon exclusive. We heard it could be an SDCC exclusive, and then it was saying projected for 2022. Now we're hearing something that it could be for this year's convention and at FunCon because it has the code name Barcelona next to it as well. And like I told you guys, we just don't see any pre-order listings showing up overseas that can actually prove that. So keep in mind, if that happens, that's fantastic. I'm excited. Some people don't want to see that happen because it's just harder to get. Point of the matter is, it could happen even though we don't just see it on a list right as of now. And just to reiterate, these Demon Slayer leaks are showing for August. We just do not know what year it could possibly end up on. It wouldn't really make sense that they would release a whole nother wave on top of the one that should be coming out this August already that's already been put up for pre-order. Now the ones that are potential con exclusives coming out for FunCon, those could be for August being FunCon is an August so that would make sense in the very least maybe we'll just see these other ones push later on in the year I'll update you guys of course if we get any other further info also we could be seeing some new Yu-Gi-Oh Funko Pops and that's including a new deluxe edition a Tem Faro Yu-Gi Funko Pop that would be really cool I want to see more deluxe edition Funko Pops I think they're so cool looking they get some more design and detail into it anyways we're moving on to a May Valentine one we could see that as well we did talk about a blue eyes Toon dragon a little while ago so that looks like it's possibly gonna happen even more and a what is this Yami Bakura Funko Pop we could also be seeing a Funko Pop of him as well and now for My Hero Academia, we do have one cool leak, a very cool leak I'm excited to see and put into the collection. It's going to be an anime pop moment, All Might versus All for One. I am so looking forward to this one. I love anime Funko Pop moments. They just have a lot of detail, a lot of stuff going on that really shows more of the whole anime scene and everything like that. We have seen Cowboy Bebop, Inuyasha, of course Naruto versus Sasuke, even the recent uh, Demon Slayer one with Rui versus uh, Tanjiro. I'm sure they're going to do a great job with this one. I really hope it turns out well. And even put some glow aspect or maybe some type of variant to it that would be insanely cool because I think everything else has just been a common look to it but let me know what you guys think of it and if you're excited
excited to see that new anime pop moment. All right, so now we're gonna move on to what I told you guys about earlier in the video of the shared retailers for all these fun con exclusives that we could see. However, keep in mind, if you do not hear a leak about a Funko Pop that's not on this list, it does not mean it's not going to happen, but I can't confirm that it will happen just because I've told you before, they may not have a license to sell that certain Funko Pop, especially anime in that country. So that that's why it may not show up on their actual order listing. And that's why we're not gonna be seeing any Demon Slayer or any Naruto on here. I'm really upset about not seeing Naruto, but just keep in mind, like I said, it may just not be on their listing, but it could be eventually for other countries in the future. Now I'm gonna go through this fast because there's a lot of them on this list, so bear with me. Here we go. Now we'll go by shared retailers. I'll name off all the ones that belong to that retailer, and this is for Amazon exclusives. We'll be seeing The Boys, Black Noir, Star Wars, Across the Galaxy, Ray, Marvel's Year of the Shield, Cap Wolf, and Disney's Three Musketeers, Mickey. Now for this Funko Pop, it's gonna be shared between Books A Million and Barnes and Noble. It's gonna be Harry Flying with Key in Hand of the Harry Potter series. These next two are gonna be Box Lunch exclusives, and this is gonna be Emperor's New Groove, Kronk as Scout Leader, Beauty and the Beast Wardrobe. For Entertainment Earth, we're gonna be seeing DC's Batman with Scythe. I think that's gonna look really cool. And then we're gonna see Alice in Wonderland's Walrus and Buddy. For FYE Shared Exclusive, we're gonna be seeing DC's Dr. Fate and Parks and Rec Filibuster Leslie. Now we have a bunch of GameStop exclusive ones, and that's gonna be starting off with Fat Gum from My Hero Academia. They actually have his a real name on here, which is kinda odd, and we did see the box art showing his actual Fat Gum name, so that's weird why they'd show that. But that's gonna be a six inch Funko Pop, keep in mind. On top of that, we're gonna be seeing Marvel's What If the Supreme, Simpsons Belly Dancer Homer, The Office Stanley as Warrior or Samurai. Also, we're gonna be seeing Star Wars Rebel Imperial Commando White, and then Dungeon and Dragon Xanathar. We're not gonna cover the Hot Topic ones just because we went over that in the beginning of the video with all the Funcon exclusive leaked images. So we'll move on to the Target exclusive ones, and this will be DC Imperial Deathstroke, which we kind of mentioned in the one of the more recent videos, Marvel's Falcon in Black. I believe that's gonna be from the more, more recent um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier series, and then Transformers Shockwave. On to Toy Tokyo exclusive, we could be seeing some for Masters of the Universe, including Roboto and Whiplash, and there's gonna be some more Tokidoki like I mentioned to you guys before. That we could be seeing Caramello, Sandy, and I think, yeah, just those two right there. And of course, Walgreen will be getting at least one, and that's gonna be Marvel's Blade as well. And then we're also gonna be seeing some for Walmart, and Walmart's gonna be having G.I. Joe, Cobra, B.A.T. or Bat, and then Crash Bandicoot, Crash, and Mask Armor. Now I did forget to mention these just because they're at the bottom of the list, but they did show that there's gonna be a Pokemon Diamond Glitter variant at Target, and there's gonna be one at GameStop as well. So there'll be two Diamond Glitter variant GameStop and Target Funko Pops for this year's con. Now we're gonna talk about some stuff that might be a little bit harder to get. These are gonna be actual Funko Shop shared exclusives like the Nezre from ECCC, stuff like that where you can only get it through the Funko site as a shared exclusive when they go up. So let's start off with Ad Icons Kellogg's. We're also going to see another Ad Icon, Jay and Silent Bob. There will also be Dragon Ball Z 1 and 2. So there'll be two Funko Pops for Dragon Ball Z that will be shared through the Funko Shop. There will also be a Danger Mouse Funko Pop, the Rocketeer from Disney, and there will be a Disney Alice in Wonderland Classic. Those will all be shared with the Funko Shop and on top of that, there could be two more, including DC Comics Heroes Funko Pop 1 and 2. So there'll be two more DC Hero Funko Pops that could be shared through the Funko Shop as well. And for these last two, these should be booth exclusive only, meaning you can only obtain it at the Funko Hollywood location if you attend the physical event, or if you do get a lottery winning spot and you get it on the Funko site, they will not have a shared exclusive for this at all. So just keep in mind about that. We could see a Heroes DC Comics character and a, a Tokidoki Funko Pop. They don't specify either or of which these could could be including all the other ones I mentioned before and that's pretty much it guys these are all the ones that we could be seeing for this year's con keep in mind things can change and let me know down in the comments below what of these are you most excited to see and what do you think is going to be the hardest ones to get and one of the easiest ones to get so there you have it. we have a lot of cool stuff going on in the Funko world some new fun con exclusives that we saw some of the new pops floating around and even these shared retailers of where we could see a lot of these fun con exclusives let me know guys in the comments down below what you're excited to see and what you're hoping to see if that maybe it's not on the list right now at this newest fun con i hope you found this video enjoyable and if you did hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you always get notified when i drop a new video and don't forget to follow me on instagram at dude memes that's where i post a lot of these leaked information before it comes on the channel and other cool stuff so go ahead and check it out and as i always say my dudes and dudettes enjoy what you collect let other people enjoy what they collect and remember always have fun with it see ya